Good morning, everybody. Look at this disaster behind me. <laughs> Today, I have been trying my best to get some things done around the house. Tomorrow is trash day, so I'm trying to go through a lot of things and get rid of them, trying to downsize, trying to throw out things that I do not need, um, separate things for like Goodwill, Salvation Army. So that's what is up with this enormous mess around me. Those baseball bats will sell for a lot of money on eBay. <laughs> but anyways, so, um, so I'm just going to keep this short and sweet this morning. It's been such a busy day. The little came over and I watched her. I went out uh, this morning and I was actually going to go over to another park and film, which, by the way, how do you guys like the videos that I'm doing at the park? I was thinking of doing those more often so that I can get out and get my exercise and make my morning video at the same time. I know a lot of people like when I sit here and I drink my coffee, but uh, but just let me know. You know, what do you guys think of those videos? I'm, I'm really enjoying making them and walking around the park and kind of exploring in that. But... I headed out this morning to do that. I had to stop at Walmart, and then I stopped at an abandoned Sears. Well, it's like a Sears home center or something. It's like a really small Sears, you know, for a hardware store. And this is a place where a while back, about a year and a half or so ago, I found a purse that somebody had stolen and discarded behind there, and I was able to actually get that purse back to the person who owned it. But, um, but I was thinking, you know, I've never really given this place the time of day to really film it and make a good video here. It was just a little quick video that I did alongside the other building beside it. So I went ahead and stopped there and it turned out to be a pretty interesting thing. I ran into a guy who was hiding behind trees behind the Sears and it was creepy and I was thinking the whole time, please don't kill me. And I said to him while he was talking, because he just kept talking and talking and talking, and I said, do you mind if I film while you're talking? And part of my idea there was so that I could be moving around and looking, and I was looking for a gun. Because I thought if this dude has a gun somewhere, I need to be plotting my escape. Um, obviously I made it out of there alive, and that video will be coming up on the first Nate Guy channel, uh, probably... Probably this evening, actually. But I did that, then I came home, and I babysat the little for a while. I had her for, I don't know, about five hours, I guess. She wore me out. My brother's kids came over for a little bit, and uh, and Gracie played with Little with some, uh, some toys that they brought for her birthday. And Buddy just wore me out. He's getting big, and he was jumping on me and acting like a big dinosaur or something. I don't know. He's just going crazy. He was pretty fun. But, uh, so I am absolutely tired tonight. And even though I was totally exhausted, I told some of my friends, uh, Richard and Kara, you might recognize those names from the other channel. Those names. <laughs> you might recognize those names from the other channel. They go out exploring with us sometimes. And uh, so I had told them that I would meet them at the Toys R Us tonight. So even though I was exhausted, I waited for their call. I took off. I met them out of the Toys R Us, and we did an update there. And we did an update at the uh, the Babies R Us. And we had some things for each other. Like I had a Toys R Us basket for him. He had a couple baskets for me. I'll be putting that video up on the other channel as well. Really trying to keep them separated here. So, But uh, yeah, I'm back home tonight, and I got this disaster I'm trying to deal with here. I ran out of daylight, so I didn't have time to go film at a park today, you know, after I had uh, met up with Richard and watched Little and all that stuff. Just just an absolutely crazy, busy, busy day. That's what I'm doing tonight. I just finished a plate of bacon here, and I was so bummed when I reached over for another piece, and it was all gone. <laughs> so if you haven't seen it on the other channel, you'll want to check out the video that I just posted. It is a former McDonald's that was abandoned for a while, and then a dentist bought it turned it into a, a dental building. And uh, I first filmed it when it was abandoned, but the guys were in there working, so I was able to go inside and get all this interior footage. And then it took them a long, long time, like over a year, to finally get the dentist up and running. And that's, that's what I was waiting for before I did that update. So I filmed that yesterday. I got that video up today. That's on the first Nate Guy channel if you want to see that. It's really pretty interesting to see it because it's always interesting to me to see these buildings in a completely different way than what they were initially intended to be. So you can kind of tell from different features that it was a McDonald's. Um, but, you know, you'll have to watch the video to see. It's really interesting. So, anyways, guys, 
I am going to get busy on this stuff here. I've got to finish going through all this crap, getting my garbage out to the curb, and just... As you can see, I'm surrounded with things to do tonight. So wherever you're waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward, and let's make this world a better place. Let me know what you guys think about those videos that I've been posting from the parks, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Peace.